decided that we were going to try to do two things to try to help with uh, genetic counseling for patients in the cancer setting. And the first thing we decided to do was a telehealth program. We know that a lot of patients in Idaho don't have access to genetic counseling just because of the rural nature of the, the state and, and how large it is. So we decided to try a, a program where we would have patients who are about 60 miles away in Fruitland, Idaho, see me here in Boise um, via video conferencing. And essentially the patients in Fruitland had two screens. They were able to see me and see my uh, PowerPoint presentation, which was a visual representation of what I was saying um, to them over the, over the speaker. And as a result of that, we were able to see more patients. Their wait times dropped pretty dramatically. A lot of the rural patients, we were worried about not having enough exposure to technology and they might be intimidated by um, the, the machinery, but they have not. We've seen patients who come from very rural farm settings who don't even have an email um, and they're able to talk to me and it's pretty comfortable. They're able to tell me about their families, tell me what they're concerned about. It feels like a conversation in person. It's not exactly the same, but it mimics it very closely. So I, I don't feel like I'm missing out on the psychosocial experience with the patient. I can read their expressions. I can, I can see when they're confused. Um, and, and the visual aids really do help back up what I'm saying. So the, the audio and the visual cues go together very closely. So it worked out really well. All of the satisfaction surveys were very positive. We had 83% uh, excellent ratings for all of the telehealth. Um, so we've decided to expand the program to other outreach sites so that more patients can have access to our services. The other thing we decided to do was to try to help with identification. That's often the, the most difficult part of getting patients to us is um, there are so many things going on in the oncology appointment that often the family history part of it is just a habit rather than something that's analyzed. So we decided to do a chart review process where we looked at every single chart and their family histories to see if patient met NCCN criteria for genetic counseling. Those that had not been referred or a discussion had not been uh, performed by the physician, we would flag the chart and the physician would then send the patient or not send the patient, it was up to them. But they at least knew that the patient had something that needed to be done. Um, so we were able to increase the referrals to genetic counseling. We started off at about 58% and then at the end of the, the program it was 70%. So we increased the patients that were able to get to us. We actually identified three families that had hereditary cancer syndromes as a result of this program um, who might not otherwise have gotten to us and we've been able to test their other family members. So um, that is also a program that we've decided to continue. Long -term.